We've been doing screencasting with the programming and you're not actually seeing what's going on um, with the devices. So, here's our controller plugged in with our battery. I am unplugged from the computer. It's just going to run from here now. It always runs the last program that was on it. So, it is off. When I turn it on, it is you know, time for it to start thinking about running the program. See the lights are flashing green. That's awesome. Um, so we're gonna run the program. And again, our program is a loop motors with switches. So it's waiting for me to hit a switch to turn on. Notice my LED is off right now. I hit a switch, LED went on, motors went on. I hit my other switch, everything went off. Hit my switch again. So you turn things back on. That's why that's using that while loop. While one equals one means do this forever. Off. On. Off. Off when you actually press the button. Okay. And I only had two motors running. That was with the program. Just said run those two. Um, yeah, you could have run them different speeds. I mean, there's so many varieties of things you can do with programming. So many options. So many variables. Um, and trying to make things happen. That's what that's the fun of you know programming. What can I make happen? How can I make that happen? You know, Google some things, look up some things. And if you want to know about some things, Google, you know, robot C, how do I make this happen? And you'll we'll find some guides. So that is what it, that program looks like.